It all started with an email from TOS FPV, the uh, Shanghai FPV club. Uh, Nicholas Chin emailed me about a big race in uh, China, Shanghai, and uh, I was amazed right away. I always wanted to race in China. Yes, of course. I've never been to China, so I thought, yes, that's one of the countries I, uh, I want to go, and especially for racing. Very cool. Here I come. KLM used the new Boeing 777 or no 787 called the Dreamliner, which was uh, quite a smooth ride. So we touched down in Shanghai, China after border control, which uh, went smooth. We uh, picked up our bags, went outside and boom, the heat was there. It's very humid there. Um, looked out for a taxi. Yeah, we took the taxi right away to the hotel. I never saw so many cars, so many scooters, people everywhere, whooping to each other. I don't know why, but from, hey, I'm there or something, I don't know. They live that, that way. It's, I never saw it. Awesome. No Europe anymore. TOS FPV Club, they had a little welcome set up. We met uh, Nicholas Chin, very nice dude, very organized dude. He seemed to have everything under control, I like that. Uh, we went to our rooms and we, did a, uh, we checked the fail saves and put the props again on. And also prepare my quads for fail safe check, which uh, went smooth. Next morning after a, a little breakfast surprise, Chinese breakfast is very different, uh, we met all the other pilots uh, from around the world, the English guys uh, from Next Blades. Easy bus ride to the venue. Uh, the venue was spectacular. The first thoughts about the track was, wow, this is, uh, this is hard for 5 inch, so really small, really compact. It looked great, it looked great. The LED gates were really nice, but uh, very small and quite simple, to be honest. But uh, that changed quick with the first LiPo on it. It looks very easy. There were uh, three left turns and one right, so I thought it's a baby track. But no, it was, for me, it was not easy. It was very hard. TOS FPV had a really nice setup. The, the track in front and then the pilots had a little pilot room area. Everybody had a space, there was enough power supplies. And since Nicolas asked everybody to bring their country flag, I did. And the first thing uh, I did was uh, put it on the wall. Nobody else did, but uh, I represented Germany. <laughs> the first rounds on the track were quite surprising since the track looked a bit easy, but uh, it wasn't. Uh, it had uh, really small room for error and was quite compact and tight. I chose a 4-inch setup. Most of the guys started with 3-inch, some of them did 5-inch, so I thought why not go in between and choose a 4-inch setup. Uh, first practice day, I thought I'm gonna fly my 3 inch. I borrowed a 3 inch from Mano from Multi Rotor Parts and I thought, yes, that's the setup. But I never flew it, so it was very hard to fly uh, a quad I never flew. We flew on Clearview, it was amazing quality because we were indoors. There was a lot of Wi-Fi. It was very, very good on 25 uh, milliwatt race band. I didn't hear any problem, so it was awesome. Uh, so we had a full day of practice, uh, which was nice. It was a good practice day. Uh, I liked that. After that, we dropped off our stuff at the hotel and uh, went to the city center to explore Shanghai a bit. Uh, we went to the Bund. It has this spectacular view of the Shanghai skyline. I uh, always wanted to see that and I was, um, it was better in person than I thought. The city in the night is like 
Walt Disneyland. It was amazing to see. I never saw it in my life. I got no words for it. It was so cool. Buildings are so high and the lads are so amazing to see. It was, for me, it was like a dream. Second race day was uh, qualifier day one. They had a bit of a different system than uh, usual. Uh, we got one LiPo, but only the first five laps count for your timing. I was struggling for the, the, the two LiPos, so I got not a good time. I thought something like 12 seconds. It's the fastest pilots were flying eight, nine seconds, so it was not good. Luckily, uh, we got through the schedule faster than we thought, so everybody got uh, three lipos instead of two. Thanks, Nicholas, for that. Although we did three lipos on Q1, it was not enough flying for us, so um, we wanted to go out to fly more. And a lot of people gathered together, which was too much. It was kind of a mess to, to set it up. And then the rain also started, so that messed it up a bit. But um, after the rain finished, everybody left. It was only uh, Metal Danny and me. And then, um, yeah, we had four or five lipos of uh, some good flying. So I put uh, the four inch props on my normal five inch quad. It feels okay, but it's outdoor. Everything feels okay outdoors because you have room. So I thought, yep, I'm gonna try it tomorrow in the last qualifying. Uh, qualifying day two, the four inch, it was feeling better. I did a few good laps, but it was lap number six, seven and eight and only the first five laps count. I made the wrong decision for the three inch. I was, it was uh, too late for me. But that's racing. Sometimes you're fast and sometimes you back to learning again. <laughs> Luckily, I made it to the top 16. I, th I think I qualified seventh or eighth place, which is okay for me. On race day, Nicholas changed his mind and decided to give everybody a 10 minute warm up, which was uh, greatly appreciated. Um, I totally f***ed up my 10 minutes. I wanted to try out uh, the 5 inch and a different setup and I brought like 4 or 5 quads to the, to the start and I think after 6 minutes 4 of them were broken. Yeah, you, you just don't let it uh, go into your head and uh, delete it right away and uh, look ahead. Thanks to the great vibe within the FPV community, everybody, almost everybody asked me if I need spare parts or some help. So fixing my four or five broken quads was done in 30, 40 minutes. It, it's great to have such a supportive uh, FPV community even though we are competitors somehow. Everybody shares the stuff so we can fly together. That's always amazing, all the top pilots. To meet the other pilots, it's so great to see everybody from uh, YouTube. It's, uh, yeah, it's cool, I love that part. I love backstage. I managed to forget the warm-up completely before my first top 16 round and luckily I won the first round and advanced to the next one. Round 2 of top 16 uh, didn't go as well as the first one. I crashed on second or third lap in second position, which was unlucky but uh, luckily Nicholas decided on a double elimination round, so everybody gets a second chance no matter when you crash. Then my second loser bracket round uh, came up. It went good 
until the very last meters. Uh, Unreal FPV, Noah from Sweden, a great racer. He overtook me on, on the very last meter and was in front of me maybe 50 centimeters, 80 centimeters of the start and finish gate. We had to check DVRs and the timing system and in the end uh, he took the round, which was the right decision. Of, of course I will always want to advance, but um, it's not like I lost it in a crash or anything. It was great racing. Um, I'm happy for him that he advanced. The vibe and feeling is always great. The community is it's competitive for sure, but um, never in a negative way or in a mean way. It's always positive and everybody looks to get FPV on the next level and to a bigger audience. After four days of racing, we finally had a day off in Shanghai. Uh, Team MRP greatly enjoyed the day. We went to People's Park, checked out that, the marriage market. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> It was damn, just so cool to see again the big buildings in the sunlight. How many people are walking like ping wings, you know? Everybody is walking the same side. I'm not used to the city, so I'm normally I like forest trees, but that city I really like. Really, really cool. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but there is a really, really, really fast train from Pudong Airport, which is the main airport to Shanghai city. It's called the Maglev and it goes top speed 431 kilometers. It was only eight minutes to the airport. It takes about 40, 45 minutes with taxi, but the Maglev takes eight minutes. That was a great, great experience. I like that a lot. Being able to fly to Shanghai to, to race FPV quads was an amazing experience. I cannot thank MRP and uh, the owner Manor enough. Um, very thankful for that, it was a great experience. TOS FPV and the um, Expo MWCS did a great job. It was quite a small track, but it looked great. The LED gates were awesome. There was always a crowd, a big one, to be honest. The pilot seating area, the cockpit, I would say, um, was great. Everybody had a spotter. Uh, the clear view worked, uh, it's magic. The big screen behind the cockpit was awesome. I was very impressed. It was, uh, comparing all the FPV events, this was one uh, on a higher level, for sure. TOS Racing, FPV Racing Club. Very cool, they invite me and Malte. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I didn't want to miss it. I want to thank Manu for his trust in us to, to bring us to China. Final steps in China. Bye bye China. Xie xie. Xie xie. Bye bye. I'm a fan. The new, the new USA.